Good morning, ninth graders. Today we're going to discuss uh, our writing in our unit. Uh, I just wanna say that this is the last unit of the semester. Um, so this is gonna be the writing for your final. Okay, so you have to be very focused and you have to concentrate. So you're gonna find what I'm talking about on page 72 on your student book. It's, we're gonna write a postcard. First, what is a postcard? You might ask yourself. A postcard is a card for sending a message by post, by post, a post office, without an envelope. This is an envelope. Typically having a photograph or other illustrations on one side. And you know what a photograph means. An illustration is a, draw, a drawing. This is an illustration, for example. So, a postcard is a card for sending a message by post without an envelope. So, this is not put inside an envelope. Um, typically having a photograph, this is our photograph or illustration, on one side and the other side is for writing. This is an envelope, uh, I'm sorry, this is a postcard for Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a city in, uh, in the United States, I believe that's very close to New York. Okay, so we're gonna read a postcard. Uh, you have to make sure that it's this is sent without an envelope. Okay, you're gonna find this postcard, page 72, on your student book. It says, Dear Patricia, we've been in Malaga for three days now, and we're having a terrible time. The holiday started really badly. The plane was delayed, and it was nearly 1 a.m. when we arrived at the hotel. The restaurant had closed, so it was a good job we still had some sandwiches from the journey. The next day, we set off early for the beach. It said in the holiday brochure that it was only 100 meters from the hotel to the beach, which is true, but there is a motorway in between. The hotel itself is okay, but they gave us a room overlooking the motorway so it was impossible to get to sleep. They've given us another room, but it isn't much better. It probably isn't worth complaining again, though. It's time to go down for dinner now. Let's hope it's better than lunch. See you soon. Love, Hilary and Daniel, XXX. Okay, so what did you understand from this card? You write a postcard to someone when you're away, when you're going on a holiday, whether it's a really good holiday or a terrible holiday, like the one uh, Hilary and Daniel are having at the moment. So they're, they're sending this postcard to a girl named Patricia and they're telling her how much of a, a terrible time they have, they're having. Uh, I need you to pay attention that they we're talking about the present sense form here it was better it probably isn't worth complaining the hotel itself is okay not was okay it was impossible to get to sleep this is part because they were talking about the old room because they changed room because the room was overlooking the motorway which is like um a road for motorcycles and vans, trucks. Okay, so I need you to focus on two really important information that we start with dear, whoever you're sending to, and we finish with the names of the people, the person or the people who sent the postcard. Um, the three X's here, I believe you're familiar with. X's means kisses and O's means hugs. So when you find X's and O's at the end of a, a, a text, for example, or a postcard, 
Um, they're indicating kisses and hugs. It's a form of expressing love. Um, this I need you to concentrate on how they that Hilary and Daniel described what is happening to them to Patricia, and we're gonna write one together so you understand how a postcard is written in our next video tomorrow. Uh, I wish you great luck, and I'm gonna see you later on.